Welcome to Sri Learning Academy. Our today's topic is access violation. So let's get started. Access violation in the broadest sense refers to circumstances where someone gains unauthorized access to a system, be it an online platform, a secure database or a personal device. Simply put, an access violation occurs when someone breaches a system or accesses its resources without the proper permission to do so. Think of it as an unwanted guest barging into your house without your knowledge or consent. It's not only intrusive but potentially dangerous. An essential element to understand about access violation is that they can occur in two main scenarios. First, when an entirely unauthorized person logs into the system, often using stolen or cracked credentials, and this is the more explicit violation akin to a thief breaking into your house using a duplicated key. And second, access violations can happen when an authorized user access resources they are not allowed to. This is subtler, similar to a guest in your house snooping in your private room. Case 1. Unauthorized Logon Events The first case, unauthorized logon events happens when someone without valid credentials gain access to the system. This usually means there is a fault in the system security configuration, specifically in the authentication and authorization protocols. These protocols are like your house security system. They are meant to keep unwanted guests out, only allowing in those who have the right key. For example, imagine a banking app that failed to implement multi-factor authentication properly, enabling a cyber criminal to bypass the login requirements using stolen user credentials. The error in the authentication system has allowed an unauthorized person to access sensitive data resulting in an access violation. In such cases, the responsibility lies with the system's administrators. They need to adjust the configuration and enhance the security measures to prevent such unauthorized logon events from happening in the future. This process might involve implementing stronger password policies, setting up two-factor or multi-factor authentication, and regularly auditing system access logs for signs of suspicious activity. Unauthorized resource access The second scenario, unauthorized access to a resource by a valid user, happens when someone who is already allowed into the system accesses parts of it they are not supposed to, and this indicates a failure of the authorization process. Authorization is like the rules of your house. Just because someone is allowed in the front door doesn't mean they are allowed into every room. And for instance, consider a hospital's patient record system. Suppose a receptionist, who should only have access to patient's contact details, can view their entire medical histories. And this unauthorized access is a clear violation, indicative of flawed authorization settings. The administrator needs to reassess and reconfigure the authorization protocols to rectify this. And this could involve revising user roles and permissions, creating clear data access policies, and conducting regular audits to ensure compliance. Detecting access violations. Detecting access violations can be challenging as they often leave behind subtle signs. And these signs might be anomalies in system activities, unauthorized or unexpected files and applications, or missing files that were expected to be there. It's like coming home to find your books rearranged or a window open, tiny changes that might suggest an intruder. For instance, sudden spikes in the network traffic, unusual system log entries, or unexpected system crashes may indicate access violation. Similarly, detecting new unknown files or application on your system or noticing that certain files are missing or have been altered could also be a sign of unauthorized access. Administrators and users should be attentive to these signs and consider the possibility of access violation when such anomalies occur. And if these signs are detected, a thorough investigation should follow to confirm whether an access violation has occurred and if so, to identify the extent of the breach. Resolving Access Violation When access violations occur, they leave traces in the system, like footprints left by an intruder. These could be changes in the system files, unexpected entries in log files, or even adjustments to the system's configuration. An attentive administrator or user might spot these changes and recognize them as signs of an access violation. Once detected, it's important to resolve the access violation. 
This typically involves a thorough investigation to understand how the violation occurred, followed by appropriate steps to rectify the issue and prevent future breaches. And this may include strengthening the system's authentication and authorization mechanism, patching software vulnerabilities and implementing more robust monitoring and auditing tools. Remember, detecting and resolving access violation is a continuous process and requires regular checks and updates to the system security measures. It's like maintaining the security of your house. You need to be consistently check your logs, update your security system and stay vigilant to any signs of intrusion. In conclusion, access violation poses serious risk to the security of any system and understanding how they occur is crucial for maintaining the integrity of our data. And by correctly setting up our authentication and authorization protocols, being vigilant for any signs of unauthorized access and promptly taking action when violation occur, we can keep our system secure. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do check out the written explanation on our website. And don't forget to take this quiz based on this video. The links are in the description box below. Subscribe to our channel to watch more interesting videos and if you have any doubts, do let us know in the comment section and we'll try our best to solve them for you. For private coaching, do contact us by visiting shrelearningacademy.com or on WhatsApp. See you in the next one.